Welcome everyone to another episode of Sip It or Skip It. I'm Sean and today we've got a new item that has brought this show back from the dead, which is ironic because drinking it might, if you know what I mean. Well, they finally did it. They finally merged the two items that everybody have been asking for. Everybody has been wanting Oreo and Coca-Cola together, right? No, nobody's been asking for that. It's the unholy alliance of black and red come together in a new Coca-Cola Oreo and new Coca-Cola Oreos. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna mix some things. And at the end, as you know, we're gonna mix everything and see if it could be the magical concoction we've been looking for. Uh, one saving grace with this product is that it was released as a Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. So they're not totally trying to, if you know what I mean. So we're going to try this out. We're going to try to recreate it. We're also going to try the Oreos themselves. The first food item on this show, I believe. Chew it or spew it, perhaps? So we're going to see which way the cookie crumbles. We're going to try these things out. And I'll let you know whether you should sip them, skip them, chew them or spew them. So without further ado, let's just break the seal on this. Very excited to try it. Longtime viewers know that Coca-Cola is probably my favorite soda ever. And Oreo cookies, you know what? They're good, they're fine. I never thought to put them in my soda before. So we got these little cans here. This is what they had at the store. Coca-Cola Oreo, zero sugar. Let's do a little pour, shall we? Hmm. It does smell both like Coca-Cola and Oreo. Both scents are here. They're both represented. Here we go. The best way to describe that is if you just ate a bunch of Oreos and then drank some Coke after. It's almost as if the flavors haven't merged, but they're somehow side by side in the mouth. It, it, I don't know that it works. I mean, it's not disgusting by any means, but it, it's, it's just as if you uh, ate a bunch of Oreos and then immediately followed it with Coke and that mixture of flavor that you would have in your mouth after. That's what this is like, but without eating the Oreos first. Yeah, I just don't think the flavors really mesh well together as its own cohesive drink. Um, they're just kind of side by side. Um, I'm going to say skip it. I don't think this is, I don't see this as something uh, one would enjoy greatly as a beverage of choice. You know, it's fine. It's fun as a novelty. Um, I don't think it's a must try uh, personally. So I'm going to say on the uh, uh, Oreo Coca-Cola, I would, I would skip it. But can it be better? Can it be better? That is the question. So let's arrange our, our chess pieces here, make sure we know what we got. So here's the original. So let's, uh, I got some original Oreo cookies. So let's, let's see here. Now, there's no exact sign to this, uh, as we know, but we're going to try. Ooh, a nice pop there. Let that sizzle for a bit. Let's do some more cookies. Let's go to town. Get a little 
little more in there. Okay. I would use my stir stick, but I don't want to contaminate it yet. Now, while we let that work its magic, let's just try one of these new Oreos out. So the package says Oreos, Coca-Cola with popping candy. So they're probably, you know, trying to recreate the sensation of drinking a soda. Okay, so <laughs> they've got a unique smell to them. So it's red, black, and white in the center. It smells kind of like soda candy. Not necessarily Coke, but that soda candy flavor. Mm hmm Mm. It's okay. Again, oh, they're popping. It's kind of like Pop Rocks. Okay. Again, odd flavor combination. I think um, when you want a classic Oreo, I don't know that that uh, that uh, cola flavor is the is the thing to mix it with. You know, I could see I could see some people maybe liking this, but I don't I don't think it really works all that great. Uh, not the way that I would enjoy Oreos. Um, so I'm gonna say uh, spew it. Don't chew it, spew it. Um, yeah, not my favorite flavor combination. Okay, but if we make it ourselves, ooh, it's really frothing at the top here. It's like a, a darker than normal froth. Let's see how it is. Our own homemade Coca-Cola Zero Oreo. So I'm definitely smelling the Oreo. That's predominantly what I'm smelling. I wonder if some of these Oreos float to the top. Mm. Oh. Cookie chunks. But like frothed up cookie chunks right off the bat. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Too much cookie. No. Skip that. That's terrible. Oh. I don't like that at all. It's like like acid cookie or something. It did, did that did not mix well. It definitely definitely Coke did a better job of that. Yeah. Uh, skip this. Don't don't mix these. That's not bleh. That did not work out. So you have to do it. Uh, a scientist in a, in, a, in a chemical factory has to kind of uh, uh, assemble it for it to be drinkable, I think. This this does not work. So, oh, not a fan. Not a fan. Okay, well, we're at the, the main event here, the portion of the show. We're going to mix all of these things and find out by some miracle, will it be the magical concoction we're looking for? So we've already got one of the new Oreos in here. So we'll use that as a base. All right, let's go ahead and add the new Coca-Cola Oreo. Get some of that in there. And some of our homemade brew in here. Oh, oh God, oh, nast. Oh, that's so gross. It's like it took a dump in the glass. All right. Well, you know what people enjoy cookies with? Cookies and milk. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. All right. Let's get the willpower to stir it. Ooh. It's frothy and milky at the same time. I don't like that visual. Oh, gross. Oh, there's lots of sediment floating around. It's like a cookie storm. Whew. That 
and it uh, smells awful. It's milky, it's like Coca-Cola, cookie. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 bleh. Mm. It's not good when you're when you're drinking milk and it's carbonated. Oh, oh, it's just a, that's a real turnoff. Oh, that's like your milk has gone sour. It's gone acidic. Oh, that's terrible. Skip it. Don't don't mix those. Oh, oh, everything's starting to settle here. Oh, gross. It looks like a black and tan. Oh, nasty. Oh, let's give it one more stir. Make sure it all gets mixed in there. The pop rocks popping. Just to make sure that we're not wrong. Mmm. Oh. Bleh. Oh. I'm getting a little bit of the pop rocks on that one. Oh, milk. Skip it. Skip across the board. This is not a good flavor combination. I'm sorry. If you want Oreos and, and Coke together, then just eat some Oreos first and then drink your Coke after and have it that way. That's that's really the only way to do it. So skip all of these. Oreos and milk, though, that's good. Uh, uh, Coke on its own, that's good. So that about does it for this episode of Sip It or Skip It. Uh, thanks for uh, joining me. Um, like this video. Subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, here's a quick look at the aftermath. Oh, so gross. It looks like cookie sewage water or something. Nasty. All right, thanks for watching.